on a favorite cat drowned in a tub of goldfishes, tea gray. Ah, the speaker is imagining what may have happened to a favorite cat found drowned. There is sadness for the lost feline, but it is turned into a fable with a good lesson. Be careful what you wish for, and all that glitters is not gold. On a favorite cat drowned in a tub of goldfishes. "'Twas on a lofty vase's side, where China's gayest art had died, the azure flowers that blow. To merest of the tabby kind, the pensive Selima reclined, gazed on the lake below. Her conscious tail her joy declared, the fair round face, the snowy beard, the velvet of her paws. Her coat that with the tortoise vies, her ears of jet and emerald eyes, she saw and purred applause. Still had she gazed, but midst the tide two angel forms were seen to glide. The genie of the stream, their scaly armors teary in hue, through richest purple to the view, betrayed a golden gleam. The hapless nymph with wonder saw a whisker first and then a claw. With many an ardent wish she stretched in vain to reach the prize. What female heart can gold despise? What cats averse to fish? Presumptuous maid, with looks intent, again she stretched, again she bent, nor knew the gulf between. Malignant fate sat by and smiled. The slippery verge her feet beguiled. She tumbled headlong in. Eight times emerging from the flood, she mewed to every watery god some speedy aid to send. No dolphin came, no nared stirred, nor cruel Tom nor Susan heard. A favorite has no friend. From hence ye beauties undeceived, no one false step is ne'er retrieved, and be with caution bold. Not all that tempts your wandering eyes and heedless hearts is lawful prize nor all that glisters gold.